नमस्कार आदाब शस्त्रेगाल और खुशा मदीद वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग चौल फी पीपल दिस इज मास्टर डीजे हर्ष फिल्म जो कि आज बात करने आए हैं कि रशिया में टॉप के टेन यूनिवर्सिटीज कौन से हैं जहां पर आप पढ़ाई कर सकते हैं बिकॉज रशिया अभी के टाइम में इज गेटिंग वेरी पॉपुलर अमंग ऑल इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट्स और स्पेशली इंडिया के तो खासकर क्योंकि दो मुख्य कारण है पहला रशिया इज वेरी क्लोज टू इंडिया बहुत ज्यादा दूर नहीं है दूसरा रशिया इज चीप मतलब इट्स नॉट वेरी एक्सपेंसिव कंपेयर टू इंडियन एक्सपेंसिव या इंडियन में कॉलेज के जो फीस होती है और रशिया में सबसे ज्यादा जो वाइडली टेकन है फ्रॉम इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स दैट इज एमबीबीएस कोर्स क्योंकि इंजीनियरिंग तो आपको इंडिया में भी सस्ता मिल जाएगा और रशिया में भी सस्ता मिल जाएगा तो इंजीनियरिंग का फीस इज ऑलमोस्ट सेम जैसा इंडिया में है वैसा ही प्राइस में आपको रशिया में इंजीनियरिंग मिल जाएगी लेकिन एमबीबीएस में इन इंडिया The universities are very very expensive. The minimum fees for a private university in India in India starts from seven lakh rupees per annum. But in Russia, me this starts from one lakh rupees per annum. So, kafi zada difference. Or, dusra India me getting selected through NEET is again a very tough deal. Or, isi karan se Russia is very popular among all international students or international aspirants who want to study medicine or engineering or business or anything of that sort. So, aaj is video me me apko Russia ka pure wo details bataunga. Uh, that which all are the top 10 universities where you can study, where you can pursue your further education and what are the pros and cons. Kya hai, hai? One pro to start with, abhi recently Russia has also done one uh, more thing that Russia has allowed visa on arrival for all Indian citizens. So Russia has shown the step of friendship that Russia has allowed visa on arrival from India. And that is again a good part for all the tourists and hence uh, tourism will increase in Russia. Okay, let's get started. If you have yet not subscribed to the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel because you will get a lot of content here and that to all free of cost. Here we go. I have already done two sessions on Russia. First is study MBBS in Russia at free of cost and this has gone pretty good. In fact, students are liking it a lot and study in Russia this complete detail also. So if you have not seen this video, you can even check out these two, details, uh, these two videos present on this channel itself. Chali, the first of all admission requirements for universities in Russia, you must have a secondary school diploma, which means in India, we, you should have a 12th pass certificate. If you are applying for English taught course, which is widely available there, most of the courses you will get in English, you will need to prove your English proficiency through IELTS examination or TOEFL or PT. Next is, if you are applying to Russian taught programs, you must qualify Russian language test, which is called as TORFL. So test of Russian as foreign language, TORFL. TOEFL's brother, you can say. Yeah, here you, you have to just remove English and put Russian. Fine, that's great. Now, uh, these are the basic requirements. Now, moving forward, top 10 universities in Netherlands. Very sorry, by mistake they have written this. So, this is Russian university. Do not worry, the, by mistake they have written Netherlands. So, at number 10 is National Research Nuclear University. So, as the name suggests, this is a nuclear university. Here, the location for this university is in Moscow, Russia the capital of country. Uh, it is a public university. It's a government funded university. It has uh, been opened in 1942 and it has got a QS world ranking of around 497, which is not that bad. In fact, quite good comparable to uh, good universities in India. Okay. Next is it has got a fee structure of around 92,000 to 1.7 lakh rupees per annum. So obviously, and, and this is precisely an engineering institute. institute. So precisely here in 1.5 lakh, even if I take 2 lakh rupees per annum, in 8 lakh rupees, your entire bachelor's would be completed if it is a 4-year course. And if it is a 3-year course, your entire bachelor would be completed in just 6 lakh. Which is quite cheap, even when compared in Indian infrastructure. Although you are getting this in Russian infrastructure in Russia. Fine. Now moving forward, which all branches are available here? So nuclear physics and technology, nuclear power engineering and thermal physics, applied mathematics and physics, Applied Mathematics and Informatics, Information and Computer Engineering is also there. So, Engineering is also there. Pure Sciences are also there. Okay. Uh, in uh, International Relations, Informational Security and all such things. Next is Russian Government Scholarship is also there. Although it is quota based admission. Now, international students can apply for tuition free education through the Russian Government's quota system. Now, what happens here? The scholarship covers full tuition and may include a monthly stipend as well to cover your own expenses. Selection is typically conducted via Rosso Trundistov, ye mein ko nahi pata kaise padhenge, but jo bhi hai. And Russian embassies in your home country. So the embassy present in New Delhi will be uh, doing your evaluation or unhi ke recommendation pe you will be getting this scholarship. Clear? Next. At number 9, we have got Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology. So this is again an engineering institute. So in fact, I am showing you that, that only. 
Here the location is in Dolo, uh, Dolgo Prundi. Dolgo Prudni. This is in Russia. This is again a public university. Government funded. 1946 is establishment here. US world ranking is 456. Fine. Now here the fees per year is 6 lakh rupees on a higher side. Now if you move forward, here they have two engineering branches. Although let me tell you this is a university. So they have multiple other branches. I have only mentioned here only the engineering branches. Like which is... Uh, which can be pursued through an engineering aspirant or a PCM aspirant or JE aspirant in India. They can pursue these degrees. Computer science and then biomedical engineering. Okay. Next is MIPT International Scholarship. Now, MIPT is this college name only. So, they have scholarship system in their college itself. The Moscow Institute of Science, uh, Physics and Technology, MIPT is offering MIPT International Scholarship for students from around the world who want to study in Russia. This scholarship is specially designed for international students and give, given to those show strong academic. Scholarship fully covers the tuition fees and program you are admitted to. Fine. So, your entire education would be free. At number 8, we have got Novo Sibirsk Sibis State University. Novo Sibirsk State University. This is in Novo Sibirsk. Jo bhi kehte hai, isko. Pata nahi kya kehte hai. Public University 1958-442 is the QS World Ranking. Fees is around 4 lakh to 5.5 lakh rupees. Again, on a higher side. Now, here, these programs are in Russian taught and your language level should be at least B2. Means you'll have to pass the TORFL. TORFL examination needs to be passed. If you are able to pass that, balle balle. If you are not able to pass it, then you can simply leave it and choose a English taught course. Chemistry, fundamental science, breakthrough technology, computer science is there. Mathematics and computer science is there. Mechanics and mathematical, mathematics and law. These all branches are there. Now, Russian government scholarship gets applied here as well. Every year, international students scholarship cover full fusion fees and stipends. So, this is the same scholarship which I was talking about in the 10th university. If you remember, at number 10th, we had Moscow, uh, one university of Moscow. So, waha pe jo scholarship mil raha tha, that same scholarship we have here. This is the Russian government scholarship and would be uh, given to those students who are found meritorious according to the Russian embassy in New Delhi. Okay, so New Delhi Russian Embassy will be deciding uh, parameter. It does not cover travel costs, living expense or health insurance. Student must arrange this on their own. Next is Tom's State University. Now this Tom's State University is an, uh, again a public university, 1878 establishment here, 431 is the ranking. The fees is quite affordable, 71,000 starting till 3, 3 lakh per annum, 3.5 lakh rupees per annum. Now they have got a huge range of branches. The most common or the most fa uh, famous one are information systems and technology, informatics and computer engineering, which uh, generally a uh, student from India generally tends to take. Okay. Although there are other branches as well. Now, next is HSE University. HSE University is in Moscow, capital of the country. So, Moscow should be a preferable location for you as well. Public University 1992, 410 is the ranking. The fees is 5.3 lakh to 6 lakh rupees. So, roughly if you are taking 6 lakh rupees, that is also not very high because in India also you have a lot of private universities who do charge somewhere around 5 to 6 lakh rupees one year. Okay. Next is that here we have information and product design development. Thereafter, they have software engineering, which is precisely computer science engineering, information security, cyber security, information science and computational technology. So, all famous branches and computing and data science. All famous branches they do have. Now, they have a scholarship program also, tuition fees scholarship for international students based on academic performance, cover only tuition, not living or dorm costs, students must pay these themselves. So, your tuition cost would be covered, but not apart from that. Fine. You can receive only one main scholarship at a time. If you are eligible for more than one, you will need to choose one. Okay. Next is Kazan Federal University. Now, this Kazan Federal University is in Kazan. Kazan is a place in Russia. Public University 1804 is the establishment here, quite old. And 401 is the ranking. Here the fees is around 3 lakh rupees to 3.5 lakh rupees. So roughly 3 lakh rupees if you assume. 4 3s are 12. Like that's very affordable. In, in, in India also, the IITs do have a fees of 12 lakh rupees for the entire engineering. Okay. Software engineering is there, the most famous one. Artificial intelligence, information security. So most of the common branches are there. Next is St. Petersburg State University. Now, let me tell you, in these all universities, I am just telling you the name of university and the branches are there. But I am not getting into detail that what would be the cost of living, what would be the university fees. So, for some of them, I am showing it. But for deeper details, you will have to check the website, the internet on your own. If you need any help from my side, my team would be there to help you. You just need to fill the form in the, given in the description box. And from there, 
my team will pick your contact details and they'll call you back and they will take your doubts or whatever help you will be needing they'll be giving you that okay now saint petersburg state university this is in petersburg russia again a very famous town in russia uh, public university 1724 is the establishment year 136365 is the ranking it has got a fees of 2 lakh to 4 lakh rupees in between this now most of the common branches are there like software engineering petroleum geology artificial intelligence and data science mathematics and computer science common branches are there russian government scholarship is there which was which is available to most of the colleges scheme fully covers tuition fees provide monthly stipend supporting living expense and all such thing bachelor's masters and postgraduate everything is available rudn university rudn is in again moscow this is again a public university 1960 establishment year 316 is the ranking now this ranking is better than the delhi university ranking so we have a delhi university a very famous college in india this ranking is better than delhi university delhi university has got a ranking of 330 something around in fact a lot of iits don't have a qs world ranking of 316 or or better than this so the fees here is around 4.5 to 5.25 lakh rupees so roughly you can assume 5 lakh rupees per annum now they have got business communication management artificial intelligence uh, then informatics informatics and computer engineering then they have got uh, they have got all such branch oil and gas engineering is famous branch okay now moving forward rudn rudn brilliant student scholarship now this is only for foreign students the winners of this rudn olympiad get a full tuition free seats while others may receive partial scholarship with tuition with tuition discount so you can apply to their student scholarship olympiad if you get qualified there you'll get some discount fine this award provides a monthly stipend of 27000 rupees or to international students for their expenditure living expenses fine now moving forward boman boman moscow state technical university now boman state uh, moscow state technical techno, technical university is in moscow capital of the country public university 1830 established year 98 is the ranking fees is around 3 to 5 lakh rupees you can assume so 3 to 5 lakh rupees they have got computer science and control systems thereafter they have got they have got robotics and complex automation and then fundamental science and linguistics and all such other similar branches now they also have got russian government scholarship the same where you need to apply through the russian embassy in india and then they will give you the clarification now moving forward uh, here free campus housing and gives a monthly living allowance also your entire tuition fees gets covered next is at number one we have got Lomon, lomonosov moscow state university now lomonosov is again in moscow lomonosov state university lomonosov moscow state university public university 1755 establish, establishment year it has got a qs world ranking of 94 pretty awesome in fact better than iit bombay yeah so 94 is the world qs ranking it has got a fees of 4.5 lakh to roughly 4.5 lakh you can, uh, you can assume so 4.5 lakh rupees the fees is this very expensive they have got engineering and technology they have got computational mathematics and cybernetics material science bioengineering and then fundamental physics chemistry humanity social science so all such all such branches are there fine and basis basis foundation is available in this college scholarship is open to both russian and international students pursuing studies in theoretical physics and mathematics so if you are choosing theoretical mathematics or physics then you will be applied for this it covers full duration of the course and provides a monthly stipend between 27000 to 64000 rupees which is a good amount there all applicants are eligible but it's awarded on a competitive basis whosoever scores well will be getting this scholarship to keep receiving the scholarship students must maintain a good academic and research performance fine understood so now overall all the opportunities so post study opportunities in russia the job sector like it software and development they have got a our average annual salary of around 12 to 13 lakh rupees now this might not look very lucrative to you but let me tell you in russia the cost of living per month is around 20000 rupees 20 to 30000 rupees so if the cost of living is around 20 to 30000 rupees and you are getting and starting average salary of 13 lakh rupees it's not bad fine finance healthcare it engineering education so this is the starting payout maximum being on the healthcare sector so in fact everywhere outside india Healthcare sector is the one which has the most. 
fine so ladies and gentlemen that was all if you have any help from my side uh, in choosing a university in russia or studying in russia or any other further help on on any other country or university you can just fill out the form given in the description box my team will connect with you and they will clear all your doubts fine so that was all for this session hope you loved and enjoyed it with this it's time to say goodbye see you all in the next session till then bye bye take care good night